Jai Hind everyone. Wish you all a very happy Kargil Vijay Divas. Today is a day of victory and to honor our fallen soldiers, our brave hearts who gave their today for our tomorrow. That means for today what we are, what we are living is all because of our brave hearts, the sacrifices that they have made. We have, must remember that. And my hero, in fact, our nation's hero, someone who I idolize, who, whose story I have often spoken, including in my TEDx talk, in most of my motivation talks, is a true hero, Captain Kangaroo And today, right now, I'm going to be in conversation with, I have the honor of being in conversation with his family, his sister, his parents, and they will tell us about the true hero. Ma'am, thank you very much. Jain, ma'am. Jain, sir. Jain, Jain, Jain. Kini kaase? Bala se. Bishi bala se na? Hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Apoi loko te lok pai ke na bishi bishi kushi paise? Acha, acha. Apoi kandi bishi kushi paise. Thank you. Apoi khai se khan na hai? Ha? Apoi khai se khan na hai? Khai se hai. My sister was saying something, ma'am. Ma'am, please, ma'am, please, please stay. Happy Tini Ford, uh, Kargil Vijay Diwas Day to you and to everyone. Thank you very much, ma'am. Ma'am, we are going to be talking about my, I mean, our nation's hero, Captain Kang Ruse. You know, just tell us about his childhood. What kind of a boy was he much before he joined the army? Uh, when my brother passed away, I was just uh, in fourth standard. I was just nine years old. So there are very little memories of him that I have. But I remember him as a very loving and caring brother. He was a very strict disciplinarian. And he was also a very active youth. So he participates in singing, in all the uh, football activities, sports activities. And he was also a very active social youth. So he was a part of the church. He was a part of the uh, of the college evangelical union. So his presence was everywhere. So he was very active and he was very passionate about things that he do. And he was a great brother. And for that, he was a, an adorable son. How sweet, ma'am. How sweet. Ma'am, was he always motivated to join the army? Uh, he was passionate about all the things that he do. So initially, he started off as a teacher. He worked in a private school and later on he joined the government school as well. But uh, after appearing the exam, so he was passionate to join the army. So he applied for the exams. He got through in three other exams as well. But he was keen on joining the army, not the other uh, services. Ma'am, I always say one thing, ma'am. I say, martyrs are brave. There is no doubt about that fact. But their families are the bravest because they bear the brunt. They know what it is. And, you know, ma'am, the, I mean, the story of Captain Kangaroo, it's, it gives me goosebumps. It actually gives me goosebumps. Right now, I've got goosebumps right now. You know, I have spoken about this daring act so many times. I mean, it's unimaginable beyond comprehension of any human being that how can anyone be so brave really i mean he did something you must be a very proud sister and your parents must be a very proud very, very proud parent in fact i know the vacuum the loss of losing a dear and dear one cannot be filled but you must be very proud of the fact that he's a nation's hero yes we are we are very proud of his heroic deeds the the bravery that he had shown during the war so it was always within him and he was able to display the courage, the valor, the sacrifice that he, and he chose to lay down his life for the nation. So we are very proud of his deeds. And we, again, with the nation, uh, celebrates Kargil Vijay Divas Day today. Ma'am, ma'am, you know, there is an oath which we take in the army for all our viewers. Of course, you would be knowing better, but for all our viewers, the oath is the safety, honor, welfare of your country comes first, always and every time. The honor, welfare, and comfort of the men you command comes next. Your own ease, comfort, and safety comes last, always and every time. 
and Captain Kang Ruse was such a brave man. He led from the front. He sacrificed his life. He gave his life, and he and I mean, what a successful operation that was. I mean, he, uh, you know, when his uh, when 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 they put Captain Kang Ruse and they planted the national flag on the peak, and they said, "Ye jeet aapki hai, Nimbo Sahab. Ye hill aapka hai. Aaj se ye hill Nimbo hill kehlaega." So imagine the greatest leadership is. When your leader is not there with you, but your team is giving you the credit for the leadership, ma'am. Anything your father would like to say in Nagamis, it's perfectly fine. I mean, I, I understand Nagamis. In fact, I speak Nagamis. I had the honor of coming to your house in the year 2007. I don't know if you would remember or not. Or not. I remember your mother had made such wonderful tea for me. I remember this very, very clearly. My commandant, Brigadier uh, Gautam Ganguly, that time Colonel Gautam Ganguly, when the President APJ Abdul Kalam, Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam, had come to Kohima. That time I'd come to your house. And ma'am, you wouldn't have that memory, I remember. But I had the honor after 2007, I'm meeting you. And let me tell you, of course, uh, ma'am and sir, you can translate that to them, to your parents, ma'am, if you if you can. That's what I'm saying. That you look the same. You, there's no change in you from 2007 till now. You can convey to them, ma'am. And you know, I have to tell you one thing. I love the northeast part of India very much. You know, I have a very special, a very close affinity towards northeast, in fact. And this is the spare coat tie, in fact, in Rangapar, no? In Dimapur. This is that tie. And let me tell you, I am for an honor. It is really a dream. It's a dream come true. I have been talking about Captain Kanguze Mahavir Chakra in all my talks, in fact. It's the biggest thing on leadership that I that I speak on. Ma'am, and, and any message on peace since you have lost a close and near and dear one? You know, I mean, for... But what... Is your thought on uh, peace, ma'am? Peace. So, I, the feeling of fraternity, the feeling of brotherhood, that should prevail among all people across the country and also across the world. So then, only the feeling of oneness, the feeling of unity, if that is there within us, then bloodshed is not required or miscommunication or misunderstanding of statements or situations that can be overcome so everyone is for one cause so everyone wants to live together in peace and harmony so that has to be realized by our actions and that feeling should come from within that everyone is the same we are all part of one big family absolutely ma'am absolutely ma'am there was a letter which captain kangaroo had written his last letter he had written home and in fact, you made a video of it last night and you sent me also and that is there. It's viral actually, that video of yours and that letter. Could you tell us a few words from the letter, please? Yes. In his last letters, the few lines that he had written was that uh, that we have won the battle of Tololing. So Tololing was, uh, in fact, the first battle of the Cardinal War. So that time he wrote that, that we have won the battle of Tololing and uh, we have captured the enemy's position and we have captured so many arms and ammunitions as well. But then the sacrifices, the loss of soldiers, of officers that they had to, uh, they had undergone in this operation. So it was too much for him to take as well. So people, the near and dear ones dying in front of his eyes. So he felt really bad looking at that situation and losing people who are close to him, die in front of him. So that is why he also made up his mind that whatever comes, he will also lay down his life for the nation. He decided that whatever comes, he will not back down and he will give his best for the nation. And he chose to lay down over, over the family and over his own personal safety. So he chose to lay down his life for the nation. And that is why he wanted to write few lines for that. He said that I, I may not be able to make it back to the family again. But even if we are not part of the family, so do not grieve for me thinking that you have lost a son because I it is it is my decision that I have decided to give my best and give up my life for the nation. So 
That's, these were his last words in the letter to them. Ma'am, that is so nice of you. And when he was brought back with full military honors, when he was brought back to Nagaland, in fact, uh, the whole Nagaland united because all the tribes, be it Angami, be it Ao, be it Chang, Chakzang, Semma, Roldota, Rengma, Konya, all the tribes united, they joined a chain. And right from Divapur airport till your house, in fact, it was, uh, there was a full, whole Nagaland united. And I'm so happy, ma'am. Thank you so much for such an honor and uh, conveying this message of peace and uh, brotherhood and love and harmony and conveying your respect to our fallen heroes, our brave hearts of our nation, ma'am. I salute you and your family once again, ma'am. Jai Hind, ma'am. Jai Hind, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Just stay on the line. I'll just end the broadcast.